when the day's quack is gone and the cows have gone home, gather ye all around for tales I have must be told. I will tell your bold competition and strong rivalry, of dreams of glorious fortune and torturous roads trouble to get there, of tense battles, passionate conflict and a supreme quest for eternal glory. I will tell of a venomous serpent feared by all and a taxman's coffer that never fills to the brim of a race to the finish line like none seen ever before. Gather ye all around under the night starry sky for the tale I must tell is of the star type Uganda Premier League. A very good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome on this bright evening under the lights of the St. Mary Stadium in Chitende to what we call the Night Fiesta, a night that has chance for one to rise higher. But, but big bouts demand big names to be able to control the affairs in the center. And Asadu Semere is the man in the center of this particular one. Viper Sports Club, get this one underway in the red and black. Viper Sports Club in the white and blue with a pink. In the pass there coming in from James Pegisa, formerly at uh, UPDF. Comes in here quickly, clear away. But him, but now, right on the thick of things, and a shot from distance. Speculative, but Patrick Mboa nearly riveting his way right through that forest of bodies. And the warning bells are clearly on. There's a sting in the tails of the tax collectors and they look to use it quick. Well, they're looking very confident. If you look at the first minutes of this game and the way they are playing, you can see Brahim Dadad dribbling past bodies and um, setting up um, Boa there. I think that they look a team that is uh, fired up for this Vipers, one. Vipers, in whichever spot you put in, quite like a duck to water now. Here comes the back the wall. Gets the marking of the goalkeeper. But very good goalkeeping from Alionzi Napien Legerson. Manages to keep him at bay. Well, that looked easier to score than to miss. Yeah, I thought so. And um, what a reaction there coming in uh, from Alionzi. But also the game reading there. If you see the kind of speed that uh, and um, you know, picking up of the opportunity as uh, Lawal just saw that space and ran into. I thought that that was good setup play coming in uh, from uh, his uh, teammate there, Karim Undugwa, and he should have just picked that ball. But um, I guess it takes um, some magic to Once beat again. Him. Innocent media was nothing short of innocent, quite guilty of being on the crime scene, striking twice with a brace. 2 1 full time scoreline in that one. Such form that he is at three goals in one week, innocent media. Uh, what a player! Oh! And a shot from a distance! Took a bit of a riveting, but still gets in! He just let them out once! Patrick Mboa, the second one, is true to the good and quite swift like an arrow to the heart. Stabs, pangs of pain, throws of agony for Viper Sports Club. The Venoms have gotten their tails sniped and the taxman is out to collect. Well, I can tell you that was uh, such a strike by uh, Mboa. It caught us by surprise, but I think that uh, it just shows you the instinct of a player that um, had already tried his luck out earlier on. But you could see the bit of a difference. And even the run that was made by Ibrahim Dada was uh, brilliant. Skipping past uh, Milton Karisa and then Kabonge just sets up. And then the shot takes a deflection, a weird one, and the goalkeeper has no chance. I'm looking for the deflection there. It, it was, just yeah. might be the, the technique that he struck the ball. Because no, it, 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 if, if you see the previous view, it, the ball just got off um, a defender. I think it was, um, must have been uh, Lawala. Uh, he encouraged. Crossing. Tricky ball spilled out here and stabbed in. Equalizer. You pay the price for taking your eye off the ball. You pay the price for putting the foot off the pedal. There's a huge price to pay if you step on a serpent and do not crush it completely. It will strike back and strike hard. Equalizer. Coming in here from Viper Sports Club, a slip up and an allowing of multiple players in that place, right at the center of the goal mouth. There was no surviving that one, there was no escaping that one. There might be pleas and requests that there was an infringement, but the price has been extracted 
by one of the toughest collectors known to mankind. Well, I'll tell you that what it landed that was uh, from uh, the goalkeeper Napian Alonso. I thought that, that should have been an easy take for him because he went in and then he dropped the ball clearly. That was uh, a real howler on Napian Alonso and he's just cost his team. This is quite uncharacteristic of him, but that should never have been. There should never have been an equalizer for Vipers at this point had Napian Alonso done his job right. And we're back to where we started there. Karim Dugua manages to stab home at home. And it's quite the feeling that it will be for this man rewarding the faith of his... Holding onto the ball, the captain, carelessly giving it away. Now has the marshalling of the defence. There could be a chance here, Dada. Nicolas Kavonge, twinkle toes, tries to set himself up here, but what? You know, they need to, uh, to make that count by creating a lot more chances. And they actually do now. On the attack, the ball. He's got a lot of quality in depth that even with the absence of the players that are out, they still have quality that should be able to help them um, steer clear of any kind of uh, threats that are posed by the opposition. So, this is an opportunity for the substitutes who have not had a lot of playing time to really prove them their worth so that come next season, well, the coach um, has you in their plans. See how this will all turn out at the end of the day. Nafian Alyozi very unhappy. That terms of all that if uh, vipers were able to get the three points then it would be a huge boost for them psychologically that would, and they would develop that can do attitude no look pass there from kabonge and a poor touch the fans and the players are ecstatic alfred leku that is beyond disappointing that is agonizingly shambolic of him nicolas kabonge look at that brilliant no look pass well set up teased in and as a striker, as the final man, as the finisher, his territory. So now the ball finds its way to Ibrahim Orit, who slips it forward to his marauding fullback. Eric Ndahiro has literally been thrown to the wolves. He's taking on two players, and the cross eventually comes in. Something going wrong with that URA wing, left wing. Really need to tweak it up, and I think Joshua Lugwama may have to step up and offer some assistance. Otherwise, at this rate, the hero seems to be playing with a handicap. Yeah, that's true. And I think it all comes down to the chance to pile bodies forward. There's a number of bodies going forward here for URA. Joshua Lugwama can make the perfect delivery. Good ball! Nicely brushed, but it goes wide. That was picture perfect. Joshua Lugwama with a laser guided ball. Patrick Mboa nearly at the receiving end, got to the ball. All it needed was just a few inches shoved off and that net would be bulging. Ooh, lucky, lucky, lucky Vipers. Yeah, that was a good take by Patrick Mboa. And I just thought that maybe the, the Vipers centre-backs uh, need to do a... a few shots this season, by the way. Dada skips it and Luwama teasing, taunting, stretches. Shoots off target. Lifted it so high, and uh, there was no way it was going to go up and come down quickly enough. And again, now uh, you are a it's another good opportunity to try and uh, test uh, the goalkeeper. That is Fabian Mutombora, who I feel for much of the second half has also been on order because as much as you are a get up well here, Semuju. Just there in that angle, we did manage to get a glimpse of the man on the touchline warming up. And that looked like Vianney Sekajugo preparing to come on for the dying minutes as a shot from distance comes in. And Leonzi is not very happy. The fact that his defense are allowing people to take crackers from distance. It was from a similar distance that they benefited their goal. I'm not so sure he'll be comfortable. Actually, a similar pattern of play, a late back ball and the shot coming in. And as a captain, he knows you cannot allow the opponent Frank. to Zaga to Moesi Can they launch one final attack? They do. It's repelled by Hood Miliichi. Played back to the goalkeeper. Nathien Alionzi, who gets the final touch as Asadu Semere drops the curtain on this particular match. One that promised a lot and started like a house on fire as this man, Patrick Mboa, lit up the evening skies with a brilliantly struck shot that nestled its way to the bottom left corner of the of the goalkeeper's goal bulging that net and giving them the lead a little moment later on the other side a clanger dropped by the man in Nathien Alionzi allowed the predatory instinct 
of Karim Dubois to come to the fore. Right place, right time, pouncing, striking, putting the ball into the back of the net and leveling the tie. Turns out at the end of the day, those two goals will be all she writes about in the match report. And a share of the spoils is one that will be read in the grand scheme of things. Both teams will have to make do with a point. Full time under the bright night lights of the St. Mary Stadium in Chitende. Piper Sports Club 1, URAFC 1.